Chapter 6 Actions Video Prefs and Help Video Time-lapse replay Tap on time-lapse replay to watch the time-lapses of the artwork you have created. You will see a preview window with the time-lapse of your artwork. You can scroll back and forth by sliding your finger or stylus across the screen. By default, all of your artwork is recorded in Procreate. Tap on Done in the upper right corner to return to your canvas. Time-lapse recording By default, the time-lapse recording is toggled on. Tap on it to turn it off. A new window opens with two options. Don't purge. When you press on Don't Purge, you will cancel the action. Purge. Purge will delete the existing recording. Once you hit the Purge button, your recording will be deleted for good. Start Live Broadcast. You can do Live Broadcast from Procreate. When you tap on the button, you go to a new window where you can select the extension you want to stream from. The following services are supported by Procreate. Periscope, Mobcrush, Shoe and YouTube. You first need to install the apps on your iPad, otherwise they won't show up in the extensions menu. YouTube Stream Tap on YouTube to start streaming. You first see a window where you can create a title. Type in the name of your broadcast. I will just call this Procreate Stream. Then you can adjust the way you want to stream it by tapping on Public. You'll see a pop-up menu where you can choose from Public and Unlisted. When you choose public, you will start broadcasting live on YouTube and everyone can see it. When you select unlisted, only viewers with the link can see it. I choose unlisted. Then tap on next to start your broadcast. And then tap on go live. You'll see a countdown and then you're broadcasting live. It also works with Periscope, Mobcrush and Shoe. When you are broadcasting, you can also add your camera while you're painting in Procreate. You'll see a small section of the screen with your face. You can move it around by dragging it around. When you tap on the camera icon, you get a few options. Camera to toggle on and off the camera on your iPad. Microphone to toggle your microphone on and off. Pause stream to pause the stream and stop stream to stop the stream. Stave tip. You can no longer record your Procreate screen with Procreate. You can now do that on your iPad. Go to the main screen on your iPad and swipe up to access the shortcut menu on your iPad you see the record button. Tap on it to start recording your iPad screen. The video will be saved to the photos library. The video will be recorded as an mp4 file in 4k. Want to learn everything about Procreate 4.3? Then get the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books or Vimeo on demand for only $4.99. Learn all the features in Procreate 4.3 with over 2 hours of video tutorials. The links are in the description below this video. Prefs In Prefs you can adjust all the settings you prefer. Light interface You can adjust the interface to a lighter interface by turning it on. This is great for painting outside or in a room that has lots of light. Right hand interface. On default Procreate is set as a right hand interface. If you are left handed, you can turn it on by tapping on the toggle. The slider menu will go to the right of the screen. 
brush cursor. You can also see the brush cursor in Procreate. Toggle it on and see how big your brush is and the structure of your brush. You will see a transparent preview of the brush you are painting with. Airplay Canvas You can connect a second display to your iPad. You can do that via Airplay or Cable. When you turn on Airplay Canvas, you will only see the canvas you are painting on and not the interface of Procreate. This is great for presentations or art shows. You first need to make the connection on the settings of your iPad. Rapid Undo Delay Change how quick your undo reacts to pressing the undo or redo button or double tapping on the screen to undo and redo actions. If you hold the undo button or keep your fingers on the screen, Procreate will keep undoing all the previous actions before you let go. When set to none or zero, you will disable the multiple undo and redo actions. Quickline Delay Adjust how fast Quickline will react when you draw and hold your brush. When set to zero or none, Quickline will be disabled. Or you can set the delay up to 1.5 seconds. Auto Hide Interface By default the Auto Hide Interface is disabled. You can adjust the delay with the sliders to 10 seconds. When you start drawing, the interface will disappear. When you stop drawing, it will take 10 seconds for the interface to return. Play around with these settings and find out the right timing. Selection Mask Visibility Set the percentage of your selection mask from 1% to 100%. When set to 0%, the selection mask is not visible. Connect third-party stylus. Tap on Connect third-party stylus to connect the Adonit, Pogo or Wacom stylus. These are all pressure-sensitive styluses. On default, it is set to none. Your Apple Pencil is connected outside this menu. Adonit. Tap on Adonit to select the screen. Press with your Adonit stylus on the round blue button to connect it. Pogo. Press on Pogo to connect your Pogo stylus. Wacom. Press on Wacom to connect your Wacom stylus. Press on the X to return to your canvas. Edit Pressure Curve Press on Edit Pressure Curve to edit the pressure of your stylus. You see a pop-up menu with the curve. Tap on the line to add points to the curve. You can add 4 extra points to edit the pressure sensitivity of your stylus. Tap on the points to remove them. Reset. Tap on Reset to go back to the default settings. When you are done, tap on the arrow in the upper left corner. Advanced Gesture Controls. Tap on Advanced Gesture Controls to bring up the menu. This will control the quick menu in Procreate. The top half of the menu will set what your Apple Pencil or other third-party stylus will do when touching the canvas. The right part will control what your finger will do when touching the canvas. The bottom two parts control how you invoke the eyedropper or quick menu. Each option can only be assigned to one tool at a time. Assigning quick menu or eyedropper to touch will deactivate any options in the touch section. The sliders under the eyedropper and quick menu sections control the length of the touch hold delay. Enable quick menu. You can enable quick menu by tapping on the toggle. Quick menu. 
When Quick Menu is enabled, you can use it by tapping with your finger on the canvas. A set of buttons appear. Flip vertically, new layer, flip horizontally, clear, merge down and copy. These buttons are self-explanatory and will help you with an even faster workflow. Stave tip. When you are familiar with all the buttons, you can make a quick edit by swiping in the direction of the button to invoke the action. Swipe to the upper right to invoke flip vertically. Swipe down in the middle to invoke merge down. Just practice with these quick menu shortcuts and improve your workflow. Help. Press on the help button to get the help section of Procreate. What's new? Tap on what's new to see a video of all the features that are new to this version of Procreate. Tap on next to see the next feature. Press on the X to return to the canvas screen. Restore purchases. Press on restore purchases to restore in-app purchases you have made in previous versions of Procreate. You'll get a pop-up menu to sign in to iTunes. Advanced settings. Tap on advanced settings to open the settings of Procreate in the settings of your iPad. You can also access the settings by going to the settings of your iPad and then search for Procreate in the left pane. Tap on it to open the settings of Procreate. Photos. Allow photos to export images to. Select Add Photos Only. Camera. Toggle on Camera if you want to use the camera in Procreate. Siri and Search. Toggle on to let Siri learn from how you use Procreate. Document Storage. Choose where you want your files to be stored. In iCloud Drive? or on your iPad. Rotate with Pinch Zoom. Toggle Rotate with Pinch Zoom on if you want to be able to rotate and zoom the canvas in Procreate. When you toggle it off, you can only zoom in and out. Canvas Orientation Memory. This setting controls the orientation of your canvas. When canvas orientation memory is on and you change the orientation of your canvas, the orientation is also altered in the gallery. When you turn canvas orientation memory off, changing the orientation of your canvas in the canvas screen will not alter the orientation in the gallery. Fit Canvas Inside Interface Makes the boundaries of your artwork fit inside the interface. You see this especially when you are working on a landscape image. When Fit Canvas Inside Interface is toggled on, the image will snap to fit the screen when you quick pinch your artwork in the canvas. The sidebar sliders are not on top of your artwork. When you turn Fit Canvas Inside Interface off, the sidebar slider will be on top of your artwork. Palm Support Level Tap on Palm Support Level to change the way Palm Support works in Procreate. You see three settings. Disable Palm Support. By default it is set to Disable Palm Support. Palm Support Fine Mode Palm Support Fine Mode works best when you have smaller hands. Procreate will recognize a smaller palm. Palm Support Standard Palm Support Standard is the general setting for palm support. When you have bigger hands, this will be a great setting. Stave Tip Just try out all of these settings and see what works best for you. Time-lapse recording quality. Procreate records everything you paint when you are working on the canvas. 
Here you can adjust the time-lapse recording settings. Disabled. When you turn Disabled on, your artwork will not be recorded. There are four quality settings for the time-lapse recording. Normal quality, high quality, studio quality, and 4K. The last setting is the best recording quality and is available for iPads from iPad Air 2 or higher. Time-lapse HEVC enabled. HEVC is a new codec format to save videos as. This setting is only available on iPad Pros from 2017 and up. HEVC is supported by macOS HiShara. When you toggle the setting on, your video will be saved with the HEVC codec. HEVC is also known as the codec H.265 and can export 4K video with up to 50% size production while maintaining the quality. You can save the video file to photos on your iPad or save it to your Mac computer which runs Mac OS High Sierra. Simplified undos. When toggled on, it reduces the undos in your transform, curves and blur modes once the adjustments have been made. Maximum speed distance. With this setting you can adjust the speed a brush reaches when you paint really fast. If the brushes react slowly, increase the slider. If your brushes react too fast to the speed you are painting, decrease the slider. Drag and drop export. Preferred file format. When using drag and drop to move your file formats, you can set the preferred file format here. Tap on it and choose between Procreate, PSD, JPEG, PNG and TIFF. You will drag and drop your files in the selected format. Preferred image format. When using drag and drop to move your image format, you can set the preferred image format here. Tap on it and choose between JPEG, PNG and TIFF. You will drag and drop your image in the selected format. Customer Support When you tap on Customer Support, you'll go to the Customer Support page of Savage. Savage is the company that develops Procreate. Here you can download the Free Artist's Handbook for Procreate and for Procreate Pocketbook. Tap on FAQ to get the latest updates on Procreate. If you have any questions, you can also get email support. Community. Tap on Community to go to the Procreate community. If you want to see artwork by other artists or have any questions, you will find it here. You can also get free brushes and swatches. Discover more. Tap on Discover more to get all the links related to Procreate. Leave a review. Tap on leave a review to let the guys at Savage know what you think of Procreate. You can rate the app and leave a review. Want to learn everything about Procreate 4.3? Then get the Procreate 4 video manual on Apple Books or Vimeo On Demand for only $4.99. Learn all the features in Procreate 4.3 with over two hours of video tutorials. The links are in the description below this video.